They say the future is exciting. It's full of surprises and opportunities. But here's something we rarely say about the future. It's volatile and dangerous. I'm talking about the metaverse. If you ask Mark Zuckerberg, it's the best thing on earth. You can meet new people, you can have new experiences, you can build new businesses. It's a win-win for all. But let me share the story of 43-year-old Nina Jane Patel from London. And then you can decide. Patel works at a technology firm in Britain. She was testing out Facebook's metaverse technology. She logged in, she created an avatar, and she went exploring. Do you know what happened next? Her avatar was raped by other users. Let me repeat. Her virtual avatar was gang raped by other metaverse users. Here's what Nina Patel wrote on her blog. Within 60 seconds of joining, I was verbally and sexually harassed, three to four male avatars with male voices essentially, but virtually gang raped my avatar and took photos. Nina Patel was traumatized. She threw out her headphones and logged out. And since then, she's suffering from anxiety. Does this news surprise you? I'm asking because it does not surprise me. When women are not safe in the real world, how can we be safe or we be expected to be safe in the virtual world? You fa your face is different, your name is different, so metaverse users are free to do whatever they want. And I know what some people are thinking. Nothing actually happened. Nobody was physically hurt. Well, I have two things to say to that. One, it reveals the users' disgusting impulses. Thinking about raping someone is also wrong, by the way. Using your virtual avatar to rape someone is also wrong. And two, such crimes are not just about the physical hurt, it's also about the mental trauma. I'll go back to what Nina Patel wrote. A horrible experience that happened so fast and before I could even think about putting the safety barrier in place, I froze, it was surreal, it was a nightmare. What is Meta slash Facebook doing about this? Well, they have released a statement. This is what it says. Horizon venue should be safe and we are committed to building it that way. We will continue to make improvements as we learn more about how people interact in these spaces, especially when it comes to helping people report things easily and reliably. FYI, Horizon venue is a metaverse platform run by Facebook. This statement is along expected lines, safe and diplomatic. But try reading between the lines. Facebook is essentially saying, this is trial and error. We will continue to make improvements as we learn more about how people interact. I hate to break it to Mark Zuckerberg, but human beings are not his guinea pigs. You cannot sacrifice the mental health of users to perfect your platform. And this is not happening for the first time. Think back to the internet and social media. The same thing happened. The applications came first. The rules came later. The result was this. Fake news, hate speech, identity thefts. We should not repeat the same mistake with the metaverse. There must be rules and regulations. How to interact with other avatars. How to, change, how to exchange money. What is permitted and what is not. These guidelines must be established first. Unfortunately, we're going in the opposite direction. Launch the platform, get billions of users, then wait for each user to complain. Trust me, this is going to be a massive legal complication. For instance, your assets in the metaverse, how will they be taxed? Your crimes in the metaverse, how will they be proved? I'm not saying the metaverse is a bad idea. It offers endless opportunities to people. But it's an unfinished product. And big tech alone cannot be trusted to finish it. The laws, the taxes, the crimes, all of it must be regulated by the state as well. If not, such crimes will keep happening. In December last year, another metaverse tester reported being groped. And this happened on the same platform, Horizon. Two months later, it's happened again. What is the point of beta testing if the problems are never rectified? Having said that, it's not too late. Governments and courts can still intervene to set things right. They have the laws. What they need is new procedures. For example, in many countries, sexual harassment does not require bodily contact. Those same laws can apply here. But the question is, how do you prove it? How do you find the person behind the avatar? If such groundwork is not done, the metaverse could become a murky underbelly of the real world. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.